so there's something about like algae blooms that you could do with multispectral. Is that a thing? Yeah. I mean, algae blooms are putting off, they're reflecting light that's bouncing off the sun and they're absorbing some and reflecting some of that back. We're measuring that reflectivity. And so if there's an algae bloom, you're probably going to see it on multispectral much faster than you'd see it with your naked eye or just a standard camera. So I think that that, yeah, that's the end of, of the content. Last question I'll have is that for multispectral, is there anything that's not plant related that's being used? I have heard like maybe finding plastics on shorelines or beaches that you can use multispectral uh, data. I don't, I can't validate that myself, but do you see any other use cases that are not pertinent to living things? I, th there probably is. I mean, it, capturing bands of light very accurately, there's probably extra analysis that you could do. But if anyone has something out there that you've done that hasn't been vegetation oriented, but with multispectral, hit us up. I'd be very interested to know more.